Hey friends, it's Sean from My Impossible, and in this video I'm going to try to use telekinesis on a radiometer. And it, you've probably seen these in toy stores or sign stores where the panels inside this container move because of the energy of the sun. And the interesting thing is this container is vacant of air, it's a vacuum. And the reason for this experiment is to see, do we need air in order for the energy of telekinesis to take effect? Is that part of the mechanism? So I spent a lot of time sitting in front of this thing trying to get it to move. And the only time it would move is when my hands were actually on the glass heating it up. So that's not telekinesis, that's just heat. So I decided, well, is it really because it's a vacuum that it's not working? Or is it because maybe the panels and the little thing that they're tied to or is just too heavy for me? And there's only one way to find out. And that is to, well, crack the container. I thought maybe I'll crack it a little bit uh, just to get some air inside of it and then do the test and maybe if I could get it to move that would prove that um, the, the vacancy of air is a problem, but it turns out <laughs> I wasn't thinking ahead that when you break a container that's vacant like this you get an implosion just like this Yeah, that was a big mess. It took me some time to clean that up because there was glass everywhere Anyway, after I got it cleaned up, I pulled out the thing inside of it and I wanted to weigh it. And we see here it's 0.62 grams, which is important to know because normally I'm using a piece of tin foil, which is just 0.17 grams or so. So now I'm not only trying to work with something that was in, in a vacant container, but something a lot heavier than I'm used to. So that's something important to know. So I set it inside uh, a normal glass container. Obviously there's air inside here. And so if air versus vacancy was the issue, maybe I could get it to move even though it's heavier than I'm used to. But I spent a lot of time, even with my hands on the glass and off the glass, and it would not move. So I thought, let's do some more experimentation. And I took some scissors to it to decrease the weight by cutting it down a little bit. So I cut some of the pieces off and it went down to 0.5 grams. And as you see here, I kept experimenting and it wouldn't move. So what I did next was, well, I'm going to see if maybe I can get it to move by putting the tin foil on it. And maybe if it is about moving the air, the tin foil will behave like a sail and the whole thing will move. So I put the, tel the tin foil on the object, put the container back over it. Here it's fast forwarded. And I tried and I tried and I tried um, and it would not move. I tried with my hands off because sometimes that's stronger and still wouldn't move. Then I just put the tinfoil back on to see how's my energy. And I sat there with hands off. I was able to make the tinfoil move. And here we see that I'm letting it come to rest and applying my intention. And the tinfoil is moving the way it normally does. Uh, maybe a little slower actually, because I'm pretty tired. I've spent all day on this experiment. So I thought, why not put together a target with as much tinfoil as as heavy as that other object was? So I took a few slices of tin foil, put them on top of each other, and here it comes out to 0.49 grams. So just a little lighter than the other object was. Can I get this much tin foil to move? Showing that it would be about the weight. And so I tried, and again, this is fast forwarded. And yeah, with my hands off the glass, we see that 0.49 grams are moving. And here, even with my hands off the glass, just looking at it, in a few moments you'll see here yeah there's the movement coming even just with, from a distance I'm able to get 0.49 grams of tinfoil moving but now this starts to raise a question am I really moving the tinfoil or somehow is the air inside the container moving and you know it doesn't mean the telekinesis isn't happening it's just it just means that it's more complicated than we might think it is maybe it involves using the energy of the air moving the air molecules around even without intending to do so. Then here I am just checking my energy again, one piece of tin foil, uh, not using my hands in any way, and it's moving the way it normally does. And so I think that what we can take away from this experiment are two things. That it's looking like um, the type of material that I'm working with makes a difference. And we already know from my other videos that paper is more difficult for me than tin foil is for some reason. So is it the material? Is it the weight? 
And obviously, as soon as I broke that container and the vacuum was gone, the whole experiment was just, it was a whole other thing now. We need to go back and find a larger vacuum container that I can put the tin foil inside of and see if we can uh, learn more from that. Now this is where I need to find someone who has a container that can create a vacuum for this kind of experiment. But if that ever happens, be sure that I'll make a video for you to find out. So just wanted to share with you. Thanks. Bye-bye.